everybody? Welcome to BioS3 Raw TV. I want to discuss something or kind of put this out tonight. And it is a question I get quite a lot. And um, <clears throat> that is, how do you become a sponsored athlete for GIFD Labs? Um, and are we taking on um, sponsorships or are we taking on athletes at this time? Now, I had an individual pop up today and it was a really good um, way on Instagram Live to discuss this and point out um, you know, what it takes to become a sponsored athlete. First of all, right now, GFT Labs is not looking for sponsored athletes, but we may possibly in the next couple of months, definitely leading into 2019, be looking for an ambassador program. I just haven't decided how I want to do it because a lot of these ambassador programs, I feel like they benefit the company, but they don't benefit the individuals helping the company. So I need to figure out a way to do it. And um, it's got to be different. You know, it's got to be different than everything that's going on. And I don't try to be different just to be different. I try to be different because of all the bullshit that goes on that really isn't fucking, it isn't fair. It's not right. And that's the bottom line. Now, a lot of people, everybody, everybody wants to be out there. Oh, sponsored. I, I want to be sponsored. I want to be sponsored. And I don't even think people understand what that means. I think a lot of people think that if they have a shirt on that's from another company, from a company somewhere, um, they're sponsored. And other people think that getting some big ass paycheck every month is sponsored, which that is pretty much being sponsored. But, um, there has to be a reason why a company wants to sponsor you. First of all, it has to be a good fit. It has to make sense. You know, if you're completely against high intensity training and you're completely against using clean foods, you're completely against essential amino acids, why the fuck would GIFD Lab sponsor you? It makes no sense. So it has to be a good fit, first of all. Now, the individual today on Instagram um, popped up and he was like enthusiastic. He was like, you know, I really want to be sponsored by you. How do I get sponsored by GIFD Labs? I really want to be sponsored. I love the company. I love the concept. I love, 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 love. I was like, cool. Uh, so, well, what are you going to do for the company, right? So I basically interviewed him right in front of everybody. So what are you going to do for the company? And he said, um, I, I'm a boxer. So I go to boxing matches and I'm like, I'll wear the shirts to the boxing matches and stuff, right? And I'll wear your shirts to the gym. And when I see people, I'll tell them about the products. Like I'll tell everybody about the products. And I said, okay, that's basically going to get no return on investment. Very little conversion, almost zero in return on investment. How is your social media? Do you have a large social media? And I said, you know, why would I pay someone to do what you're describing when I can put up a post on my own social media that costs me no money and get much bigger return of investment for. So why would I do that? What are you going to do to bring money into the company? Because that's what being a sponsored athlete for. It's not for your health. It's not for the fuck of it because you look good. It's for the company to bring in money and for us to pay you. So it's beneficially mutual or mutually beneficial. Eh, thanks, dyslexia. Anyways, so he said, um, well, I'll tell everybody about it. Like, and I was like, okay, so here's the deal. You go to the fights, which you're already doing, right? So you're not going out of your way to help the company. You already go. You're going to wear a t-shirt, which you're in an environment where everything else is going on and people are paying attention to that. So even if you're wearing the shirt, some people may ask or may not. If you get 10 people who ask, which would probably be a lot to be at the, the fight asking what it is, out of those, I guarantee you out of 10, nobody's going to fucking pay attention to it. They're not going to go to the website. They're not going to order shit. Maybe they go to my Instagram, whatever, but that's not really what you need as a company. So you're going to go around and tell people. Now, when you tell them, more than likely, they go, oh, yeah, yeah, cool, cool. Unless they're specifically looking for what you're talking about, they're not going to give a fuck either. So even if you told 50 people, one, maybe two, actually come there and purchase something. It's a bad conversion rate, period, all the way around. No return on investment. Now, you're not going out of your way to do anything specific. I didn't hear anything specific that you were going to do to drive traffic to the company, Right. And then he was like, okay, I get it. Like, I understand now. So it was kind of like this, you know, impromptu. And let's say he said he had, you know, fucking 200,000 followers. And I was like, fuck, okay, you have 200,000 followers. You know, how many likes do you get? What's your conversions? Can I see the insights? Stuff like that. You know, I said, okay, here's the deal. Um, if, you know, I can, let's say you can, can, you know, can you bring in $500 a month right now to the company? Which isn't a lot. I mean, that's a very good starting point. $500 is not a lot. Because if you're getting five, bringing in $500, I will split that cost with you. I will pay you $250 a month plus your clothing, plus your supplements. Okay, so basically I'm actually going to be like almost losing money if you can bring in $500 a month consistently. And right off the bat, you know, people go, well, fuck, how am I going to do? How am I going to bring that in consistently? Not one month, consistently. So when I worked with Primeval, they said, this is what we're going to start you at right here. And based on the first month, we're going to see what you bring in. Whatever you bring in, we're going to match that. So if you bring in $2,000, we'll pay you $2,000 because we know the brand awareness is growing and it was a new company. So the first month, they said, okay, this is what you made. This is what we're going to do. We're going to see what you do next month. 
The next month, it went up again. My salary increased again. The next month, it went up again. I was specifically bringing in money every month over and over again to the company and helping the company grow. And as a byproduct of that, that's how my salary was based. Like, I think a lot of people want to get paid to do nothing or paid to do their regular shit that they do in their life. Like, wear a fuck, they go to the store, they go to the gym and wear a fucking t-shirt. And they think all of a sudden, they should be a sponsored athlete. Now, sponsored athletes are, there are many pros out there right now that are sponsored athletes that are not even getting paid. Like, they get a code, they get a salary, not a salary, but they get a commission based on that code. So it's all sales-based commission. They get some shirts and the company uses the fuck out of their image and tries to get them to push. And that's what it is. They're pros. Okay, they have proven themselves time and time again in the industry that they have people following them and they can't even get a fucking contract that states that they get a salary. Myself, I was extremely lucky from day one in I'll pump you up.com, I had a salary. In um, Big Bitch Formula, I had a salary. In 5% Nutrition, I had a monthly salary as well as all the clothing and all that stuff. Like, I had salaries that were set in stone while I was with these companies and it was my responsibility to bring money in for the companies. If you don't bring in the money, then you have to have the conversation about here's the deal. Look, you're not bringing it in. We either have to cut the salary or let you go all together, you know, or you have to crank it up somehow and figure out how to get that money back in. It's a business thing. But so many people out there, I think for Instagram in general, want to be sponsored so they can put sponsored athlete. Here's the thing. If I go to your Instagram, you want to be a sponsored athlete and you contact me and I go to your Instagram and you don't have a fucking single supplement of GIFD on your entire Instagram, not a single fucking shirt anywhere in your Instagram, not a single repost of me or anything that has to do with me or my company, why the fuck would I sponsor you? You already don't support this company that you supposedly love so much. Oh, I love the company. I love the concept. Then why the fuck aren't you using the supplements and following fucking the company? Why aren't you doing what the company represents? You know what I mean? Why aren't you? I mean, there are plenty of people out there right now that don't want a sponsorship that are wearing the fucking GIFD t-shirts. There are people out there right now that are getting ready for competitions that could use a sponsorship. And you know what? They're wearing the t-shirts. They're buying the supplements. They're fucking following the videos. They're watching this. Like they're all in on the company. Like Nutrition Solutions is a good example. Titan Medical is a good example. These are companies that I am fucking all in. I was using both companies before I was ever sponsored by them. I was paying for Nutrition Solutions. I was wearing their fucking t-shirts. I was paying for Titan Medical. I was using all their fucking products. I was paying out of my pocket before a sponsorship was even talked about because I believed in those companies strong enough so that they would look at me and say, holy shit, this guy's really on board. He really cares. Look at what he's doing. He's constantly fucking promoting our shit, and, you know, or at least using his shit. He's constantly ordering. Let's see if he can do something for us and we can do something for him. And then you wind up making these arrangements with these different companies so that you can help them out and they can help you out. Like, it doesn't make any sense. Everybody wants to be paid to do nothing, to literally do nothing. You have a company that, you know, I would say that we're different. We're very different, you know, and I think a lot of people don't get it. They don't understand what we're trying to do, but there's a lot of people that have been following me for years and they not only get it, but they constantly follow me. They constantly check up on everything that I'm doing every day. They constantly send me messages, emails. They're constantly wearing the t-shirts, trying to get, you know, stuff that I don't even make. I'll wear a shirt that's a one of one. They're like, Jerry, how do I get it? Like I have all your other shirts. How do I get it? These people not asking anything from me money-wise, but then you have the person that comes up and I had another guy that was, uh, um, I forget where he was, but he wanted a sponsorship, right? And I said, all right, I looked at his fucking Instagram. He had like 400 followers, which 400, cool, whatever. For him, that may be a lot. Cool. I said 400 followers. So I'm thinking a conversion from there out of 400, maybe 100 are actually watching. Out of 100, how many are really going to convert into sales? Maybe a couple sales a month. So you're looking at maybe 100 bucks a month. Maybe, maybe not even if his followers are not into the GIFD lifestyle, right? Maybe he is, but his followers aren't. They're friends and family or whatever. They're not into it. That means fucking zero. So his whole thing was he was going to wear my shirts to the gym and promote me at the gym because he knows people at the gym. And I was like, what fucking gym is this? And he said it and I was like, okay, and how many members are there? And how many people that work there? And how many people are you going to come in contact with? And what is the conversion rate going to be from you wearing a t-shirt? Are you going to be doing sales pitch during your workout? Like, why? I don't understand what, you know, are you going to be there doing um, demos of the products at the gym trying to get people to buy? Like, what are you going to be doing? Just wearing a shirt to the gym. He's like, well, I'll bring the shaker bottle so I have the stuff for the shaker bottle too. And I was like, so that shaker bottle and that t-shirt, that's the key to marketing, huh? And he was like, well, you know, I mean, I'm the biggest guy at my gym. Like that's, everything he said was like, what the fuck are you talking about? So then I'm like, oh shit, people got in their heads that 
if they are the big fish in the little pond at their gym and a big guy, they should have a sponsor. And I'm like, do you know how this works? Like a full sponsorship includes, and this is what people don't understand, your monthly salary, possibly commissions on top of it with a code, clothing, supplements, and all expenses paid to events like expos or whatever the fuck we need you to go at. Now, that's what a real sponsorship is. And not a fucking dime comes out of your pocket. Matter of fact, you're making money while the company's making money. So people that, you know, always ask, like, well, how do I get sponsored? Well, first of all, this day and age, as much as I fucking don't want to do this, social media has to be strong. It doesn't have to be strong on everything. You know, if you got a YouTube and it's not that strong, but your Instagram's fucking 300,000 followers, that's strong enough. You know what I mean? If you're big on YouTube, but you're not big on the other stuff, cool. If you got it all across the board, that's just more conversion. Your salary is going to be higher than the guys just got YouTube or just Facebook. So that's where we start. And then from there we go, okay, well, maybe the social media is not strong, but they have 500 clients worldwide as a personal trainer. You know, maybe they compete and they're a top level competitor that the entire region follows this person, you know, like, and then maybe the social media, but if, if they're that big, their social media is going to be strong. But you get what I'm trying to say. Like, you have to have actually done something worth something to get people to pay attention to you in order to bring products to them and say, hey, I like this product. And first of all, if you're not using the products already and I don't have you in the system, you're not getting sponsored. You're not using the products. You don't even know shit about them. So you're basically looking for a paycheck or a handout. Not going to fucking happen. Second of all, you know, how many people are going to be able to look at this individual and say, that makes a lot of sense. And they're t speaking from the heart, right? They're speaking from the heart that they like these products, that they like this individual, me, that they like the company in general, that they're super psyched to be a part of it. And then they go out there and not just put a post up here on Instagram or whatever, but, you know, make fucking videos talking about the fucking products. You know what I mean? Talk about how excited they are and they get it fucking done every day. Like, you know, I don't know if you remember, with these muscle tech contracts, everybody wore muscle tech all the time. Like, they actually went out and bought Jordan tank tops and embroidered muscle tech on them because they wanted somebody, everybody in fucking something of muscle tech all the fucking time, 24 seven, every picture, every expo, every everything had their logo on it. When somebody said, hey, how are you doing today? They said muscle tech, like that's what they fucking, that's what it was because they were getting paid well, right? But it was constantly, you know, you see people nowadays, they always wear bodybuilding.com t-shirts. They wear all these different companies that throw out free t-shirts and stuff, they love it. They, they love wearing this stuff, but they won't purchase a shirt from you. They won't support your company in general as a whole by purchasing your products and wearing your clothes, but they want you to stamp your logo on them and everything that I have worked for because let's face facts, if you get involved, like when I got involved with Rich Piana and 5% Nutrition, I knew by getting involved with them that my following would grow. They are gonna do something for me. Matter of fact, they're probably gonna do a lot more for me than I can do for them, right? And that's what's gonna happen. You have the person with 600 followers that comes up and we sponsor them, their following is gonna grow. Out of their 600, we're not going to see hardly anything from that whatsoever. So return on investment, even as far as growing the brand in general name-wise, doesn't make any sense. So hopefully this guy will give you guys kind of a, something to strive for, like build up a strong social media. I think that's pretty apparent. But believe in your products. Believe in the individual that you're, you know, you're, you're interacting with, with from the company. Believe in the company. You know what I mean? Live what you actually believe. I don't want somebody sponsored by a company or who's an athlete like a... Um, like the the athletic the athletes that they do now, which are just the codes and stuff like that, the ambassador programs. I don't want people that don't believe in the products. I don't want people that don't believe in me. I don't want people that don't follow me. I don't want people that just want a fucking paycheck. I want people that are out there and literally want to see the brand grow along with themselves growing at the same time and getting paid to do it. Everyone is happy, but without that passion, without that feeling, it doesn't make any fucking sense. Like you can hold up the you know, this fucking pen all day long and be like, oh, I love this fucking pen. I guarantee you, none of you motherfuckers are going out there and buy it if I say I love this pen. But if you see me using this pen in every fucking video, writing shit, like I'm writing shit over and over again, I'm like, fuck, you know, I got to get a couple more of these. These are fucking badass. This is probably the best pen I fucking ever had. And I keep using it for the next six months. Eventually, you're going to go, wait a minute, he's still using that fucking pen. He didn't sell those pens. What is that fucking pen? What the fuck is that pen he's talking about? I'm going to get the messages. Jerry, what the fuck is that pen you're using? I want to have the best pen. What is that pen? Because I truly believe the pen is mightier than the sword. I truly believed in the pen. If you don't believe in the fucking products, you don't believe in the individual company, then you have no business representing it. Biosuchan at gmail.com. Leave comments down below, but don't fight. www.biosuchan.com is a blog. It's a fucking GIFD bicep, and we are out.